Hey guys, so today I decided that I was just going to do a voiceover for this video instead of just talking at the beginning. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into it. The first exercise I'm doing is a good morning. So for good mornings, you want to make sure that your heels and your feet in general are nice and firmly planted on the ground. Your back stays nice and flat the whole time. And make sure that that bar is on your upper part of your back and not on your neck. We don't want any neck injuries. And really just kind of squeeze those glutes at the top. These are a great exercise if you would like to use them to warm up before your leg workouts. I almost always use them to warm up before my leg workouts. I supersetted them with curtsy lunges, a definitely underrated exercise in my opinion. I don't do them enough, so shame on me. They're a great exercise. Really fires up your whole leg. Of course, it's glute focused because we are pressing down through the heel of, that's planted on the ground. Really the only thing for these, um, if you have problems with your knees, probably not the best exercise for you uh, just because of the way that we're bending. If you don't have problems with your knees, uh, we want to make sure that you don't get problems with your knees. So when you're doing this exercise, make sure that your knee of the planted foot does not go past your toes. That's just bad form um, and it will cause knee injuries if you do it for long enough. Also for this exercise, make sure that you're not leaning your chest over. You want to be standing nice and tall for this one. And of course, got to pose a little bit so people know it's real. <laughs> the next exercise here is called a reverse cable pull through. I'm really new to this exercise. Uh, I've seen it on Instagram and that sort of thing, and I wanted to give it a try. I will say if you don't do it correctly, you're not going to feel it. So some tips I would give you, make sure your arms and your shoulders are stiff. We want the movement to be coming from your pelvis, and it needs to be a nice and slow movement. Make sure you really squeeze your glutes at the top. So pretty much if you don't see cellulite at the top, you're not squeezing your glutes hard enough because it will give anybody cellulite as you're about to see here. Yep, there it is. So make sure you're really squeezing at the top. So a little bit about my life right now. I talk about it sometimes on Instagram and such, but I work full time. And I am also a part-time personal trainer. And on top of that right now, I am still in college. So I am about to be taking some finals in the next couple of weeks. So I'm very busy at the moment. Um, so I've only been able to post on here for you guys about once a week. Ideally, I would like to post twice a week for you. Um, and that will happen at some point in time. Hopefully this summer I'll be able to consistently start doing that for you. But that's why I don't post often on YouTube, just because um, recording workouts doesn't take any time at all. Like, obviously I have to do the workout anyway, and these are the workouts that I actually do. But of course, it takes a while to edit them and create the thumbnail and of course, posting them does take a little while as well. So that's why you're not seeing as much posting. Um, on, on top of all of that stuff, Josh and I um, have decided recently that we are going to buy a house. So we've been doing a lot of looking at different houses. Um, we toured a couple houses and it's, of course, just a process. So... Uh, that does take up quite a bit of my time right now. I'm consistently looking for different places, and I'm pretty picky with that sort of thing. So it does take a little bit of my time. 
but I'm hoping that once we find a place and we kind of settle down and get that all taken care of that I will be able to post more frequently for you all and it would also put me in a position where I can do more at-home workouts and I'd be more comfortable posting at-home workouts for you all as well. So I really do think it's going to be a great a great thing. Also, I do have a series idea. Um, I'm going to be taking a vacation from work here within the next month or so. And I have an idea for a series that I want to do. It's not the most exciting series, so most of you probably won't watch it. Um, but I do have people come up to me um, and I'll rec recommend a program for them. They're a beginner. Um, uh, there are a lot of great programs out there, so I kind of narrow that down for them, pick a program for them. Uh, and just even having a program is can be overwhelming if you're not sure how to do the exercises in it. So I've decided that I want to do a how-to series. Um, I'll, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to break it down yet because it's probably will take a while to get through the whole series, but I'm just going to break down each exercise, describe exactly how to do each exercise. That way, um, people who ask me questions all the time about that kind of stuff, I can just give them a link directly to the series. They can watch the series and they don't have to search 50 different YouTube channels to find information for different exercises and I feel like I do a pretty decent job of explaining the form on exercises. So that is coming up. I, I've i been saying that I was going to do that for a while and then I just haven't gotten to it because it is going to be such a long series, but I'm thinking um, during my vacation that I will be able to film quite a bit of stuff for that series. So that's pretty much it for my life update. Um, the last group of exercises that I do in this workout are all three different kickback variations. Uh, I used to do a lot of kickbacks and I really reaped the benefits for a long time. My cellulite was down. I had a nice little tight um, glute hamstring tie-in. It was really nice. And I my goals changed and so I changed the way that I trained and I was no longer doing kickbacks every day. So one of my goals now is to really make sure that I do kickbacks at the end of all of my glute focus workouts. So two to three times a week. And yeah, well, hopefully I see some results with that. I am, I'm happy with how my glutes are shaped right now. I'm not definitely not complaining. But just, I want to focus on that hamstring tie-in. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this workout. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of the love and support.